Erection Procedure for Tankage by Jacking System Part 1, Annular and Bottom Plate Erection The purpose of this document is, to follow proper methodology to carry out the activities, in a proper sequence for erection of the storage tanks. Scope this procedure covers detailed activities for erection, welding and inspection of the storage tanks. All the tasks activities, need to be carried out with utmost care, with good workmanship and, in accordance with the specifications, to achieve satisfactory completion, of the entire activities. References API 650 ASME Section 9 ASME Section 5 Approved Drawings, ITP, Specifications Method of Construction The erection method employed for the construction of tank, shall be the jacking method. Erection of shell courses will be done, in the reverse order. Top shell course first and, so on in jacking method. The detail procedure is as below. Annular plate erection. Check the level of foundation as per approved drawing. Mark the center of tank on tank foundation, and after getting clearance for annular plate laying, mark the 0, 90, 180, 270 degree coordinates on the foundation from the reference point. Annular plates shall be laid as per an approved drawing, and orientation of annular plate joints to be checked. Outer radius of the annular plate shall be in positive side, 5 to 10 mm, in order to achieve the final required radius after weld shrinkage. Fit up of annular plates joints, shall be carried out using proper jigs and fixtures care shall be taken, while fit up such as, gap between the annular plates shall be carried out, as per approved drawings. Annular plates joint welding shall be carried out by welding alternative joint at four quadrants. Provide proper support by using channel and beams to avoid buckling. Qualified welders, shall be engaged for the welding work, according to the WPS. Complete the welding, clean the final weld surface by wire brushing. Remove the jigs and fixtures, which were used for fit up of the annular joints and, grind the tack welds. Radiography shall be taken as per, API 650 section 8. Bottom plate erection. Lay the center plates on the foundation as per the drawing. All plates in the center row shall be laid first in overlapped condition as mentioned in the drawing. All other plates in subsequent rows shall then be laid moving towards the tank peripheral area as per approved drawing. While fitting up all tank bottom plates, care shall be taken to have our fillet joints in close contact. Laps shall be maintained, as per drawing and, inspection shall be carried out, before starting the welding process. Temporary tack welds to be carried out, on the long seam, to avoid uneven movements while the fit up and welding of short seams. Short seam welding will be carried out alternatively to avoid distortion. After the completion of short seam welding, remove the temporary tacks on the long seam by grinding, to facilitate the long seam fit up. Minimum elapse shall be maintained while the fit up of long seam, as per approved drawing. Joggling shall be carried out by indirect hammering, wherever it is necessary. 3 plate joining junction Before starting the welding, channels shall be tacked along the long seam, to avoid the distortion.
qualified welder shall be engaged and, welding shall be carried out as per approved WPS. After the completion of the welding, the final weld surface shall be cleaned properly. Sketch to annular plate joint shall be welded, only after shelter bottom joint welding. Vacuum box test shall be carried out on entire bottom weld joints, as per approved procedure and code specification. If any defect found, the defect weld shall be removed by grinding and re-weld and conduct the vacuum box test. Repeat the sequence until the defect cleared. All inspection to be done, as per API 650 and approved ITP.